A nine-year-old boy will have to grow up without his mother after she was killed by a drunk driver overnight. 26-year-old Jerrica Hicks was headed home after a night out with friends when another driver in a Ford F-150 crossed the center line on Chalmers and hit her Dodge Neon head-on at Mayfield. Moments after the crash, though, an awful twist of fate. Let's get to Jason Colthorpe. He joins us now with that part of the story. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Carmen. This is one of those things when you see it in a movie, you don't even believe it then. This is the scene of the crime from overnight where you can still see signs of the crash strewn all over the road and the sidewalk here. And moments after it happened, a tow truck driver working the overnight shift got the call to come to the scene. And when he got here, he saw that mangled mess of the Dodge Neon and quickly realized that it was the woman he loves who was killed in this crash. It's just tragic. It's, it's heartbreaking. It was early this morning when Jerome and Sabrina Tarver got the news. Our young people are dying out here on these streets and it's all senseless. It's senseless that people should drink and drive. There's no excuse for it. His girlfriend, Jerrica Hicks, Jerome Tarver Jr. and her had been together for about three years until a drunk driver hit her head on just after 2 a.m. Our young people are dying out here on these streets and it's all senseless. It's senseless that people should drink and drive. There's no excuse for it. Oh, my loving mother. The Hicks family is also hurting today, devastated knowing her nine-year-old son, Brian, now has to go on without her. Even more devastating for him to grow up without his mom, you know. It's going to be very, 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 very hard. What with a real mother and son relationship is thought out to be, it was with Brian and Jerrica. Hicks liked working with kids and was trying to become a preschool teacher. Her family is going to miss the way she always sparked everyone to smile and laugh and even sing. Talking about how she was so young, you know, 26 years old. Um, just how sad we are. Not really angry or nothing like that, but just very sad that they had to end this way. Exactly, and the Hicks family tells me she did not have insurance after this crash, and uh, they are raising money to try and pay for this funeral. Not only that, but also help out her nine-year-old son that she's left behind. There is a GoFundMe set up, and we've linked to it in this story. Click on Detroit.com if you'd like to help. Live on the east side, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Oh boy. Jason, let's talk about the other driver for a moment. Is he facing charges? Uh, yes, Carmen, a 31-year-old man who was arrested at the scene for mm -hmm. operating while intoxicated. He was going south on Chalmers here. High rate of speed, police tell me. They say he crossed the center line, and that caused the head-on crash. But it's, he's expected to be charged with a felony in the coming days. Carmen. They won't replace her. But thank you, Jason, for that reporter. Jason Colthorpe reporting for us. Now.